What you just saw there was the mighty king of the dinosaurs, Tyrannosaurus Rex, scare off a little baby Pachyrannosaurus who was just nibbling on some fresh green plants. Now you may be wondering, where does the Tyrannosaurus Rex live? Well, that's why today's episode of 65 million BC is called Forests. Now, whilst most of the creatures that are very fascinating are on land, which are basically mostly forests, there's still a lot of creatures who fly over these forests. This one right here is a Quetzalcoatlus. It's the biggest pterosaur to ever roam the skies and roam the earth. This beast was 10 to 11 meters big and it hunted fish, but sometimes small animals, maybe a baby triceratops or two would be in its daily breakfast. The monster lived from 71 million years ago to 66 where dinosaurs went extinct. It is now coming for the landing in between two little trees. The Quetzalcoatlus then sees a baby triceratops that it can munch on. The Quetzalcoatlus begins to pick it up, shall I kill it? The baby has been killed. Quetzalcoatlus will now have something to eat tonight. A few miles away from the Quetzalcoatlus is a T-Rex. This T-Rex is moving its nostrils about as it has smelt something in the distance. The T-Rex heads the way that the smell is coming from. Finally, the T-Rex sees what the smell is. The smell was coming from a fully grown Diplodocus. The T-Rex then begins to attack at it. So the Diplodocus begins to attack back. This makes the T-Rex very mad, so it decides it shall bite on the Diplodocus's leg. It's a weak spot as it has a scar on it. It is that painful that the Diplodocus falls to the ground. The T-Rex roars in victory. But the Diplodocus is not dead. This big beast then walks away. The Diplodocus roars and then passes away peacefully. Over time, this gentle giant skin disappears and the skull begins to appear. <laughs>